I've been houseless for three years. Right. Living, living in cars and that's how I first started. I'd known you four weeks and you said, can mm. I come with you? <laughs> that were it. And a couple of months later we put a deposit down uh, for a motor home, didn't yeah, we? Yeah. So in a way that cancer diagnosis was a blessing. I think it could have stopped at stage three. See, this ain't me. You know, to be yeah, but you chat really well. To be honest, it ain't me though. Right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Do you want to block that out? <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> pause. Pause, pause, pause. Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to another episode of A Day in the UK. And today, we are at the International Camper Van Overland Show in Stratford upon Avon. Overlands are the big trucks that these people drive around in the camping. I want to check out the community. Today, we're going to talk to van lifers, that's people that live full time in their van, and part timers. What's the whole community like? Let's find out. Let's do it. Right, this is Mark. <laughs> Mark is a van lifer, isn't you, mate? Full time. What is a van lifer? Oh, uh, with the dregs of the earth, apparently. The dregs of the earth? <laughs> Everybody hates us. You're parking it's... all your car parks. <laughs> is, that, is, that, is that a proper, is that a real thing? Do you actually it's get, do it's that? It's getting that way. Is it? It's getting that way. It's getting harder and harder to find decent park ups. You serious? Yeah. Is that because there's so many people doing it now? Yeah, with lockdown and everything. Yeah. You got all these, what I call the plastic fantastics. They were. The pla wait, the plastic fantastics, what's that? Them. These? The, pro <laughs> the proper motor hours. <laughs> all right, yeah, fair enough. They call. <laughs> right. Oh, right. <laughs> oh, nice. Did you fit this all yourself in? Yeah, done everything. Yeah? Because everything you want to do, go on YouTube. How do I fit solar? You weren't okay, so you're naturally a sort of a practical guy. Or... Uh, I'm, a, I'm a service engineer. Oh, right. So, so I've got a bit of knowledge there. <laughs> and you got a doggy as well? Yeah. Hello. What breed is this, mate? He's a rescue from Spain. Oh, you're lovely, isn't so you? So he's probably a bit of. That was me. Me big boy. Oh. Lost in September. Rip Galley, he's a big boy, isn't he? I bought the van for me big boy. Yeah. Because he was like um, Sir Bernard size. Yeah. He was like 86 kilos. So he needed somewhere, because I'm full time. Yeah. He needed somewhere to move and everything. Yeah. So what I actually did were the steps coming up. Yeah. Is I built false floor that goes over there. Yeah. So he used to lie. He'd have all this room. Ah, oh, he'd have all that room. So you're that dog, was it a St. Bernard's then? He's actually called a, a Leon Burger. You were just saying off camera that he he brought a massive social aspect to your life as a van lifer. Yeah. And you've noticed since he's gone. Yeah. When I had him, because he's such a unique dog, and he, he, was, he was like 86 kilos, so he was big, powerful. Pe everyone would walk massive. over and check him out, yeah? People were a bit, ooh, a bit scary, but once they got, came over he was just a, he's a big gentle giant he looked the part but he was so soft so lovable yeah and everyone just loved him kids everyone come up stroking him and he he was my way because i'm a bit shy okay okay he's my way of making conversation he, with people you so, said it was a bridge then between you and connecting with other people yeah 
I took him into a, a town just for a walk round. Yeah. And there was that many people surrounding us. The police actually came over. They We're thought, joking. Uh, they thought there was something going on, like a fight or something. They barged through. What's going on? What's going on? And I said, oh, sorry, they're just looking at my dog. That's like, amazing, mate. That is so amazing. He, he pulled the crowd. Oh, uh, when I lost him last September, mm. I can remember the next day walking with my other dog, mm. and it was like I was invisible. Really? No one came up to talk. What, what did that feel like? I mean, you've said invisible, but what oh, was that I like? Mean, you're soul destroying losing there. Yeah. Because I haven't got children or like family. So he was my son, you know, type of thing. He was oh. my family. Oh. So yeah, it hurt. Yeah. Still hurts. But, yeah. Yeah. It's that welcome. If you've gone out, you can only be like for five minutes, and you come back in, they're welcome, you get off that dog. You just, you just can't beat that. Oh, mate. And when you come in and you haven't got that welcome, it's, yeah. Big, yeah, that, big change. They, they have helped me through difficult times. What made you get into van life? What was it that, that made you get into that? Did something happen? Particularly yeah, I, I was actually or? pushed. I became ill. Right. Couldn't work. Yeah. And basically lost everything. Lost the house, Mrs. Job, everything. I've been houseless for three years. Right. Living, living in cars and that's how I first started. Living oh, Jesus. People, people carrier. Really? Yeah. That was when I got kicked out of the house. I had a people carrier, so just took the chairs out the back. The dogs could fit in the back, and I slept in the front. <sighs> so that was, but that that was during lockdown. So you you were you were forced into it. That must have been just nothing but turmoil at the time. It, it's it's a steep learning curve. Yeah. When you when you're pushed into it, and when you're doing up a van that you haven't got a home to do. You know, and the energy to do that when you're pretty much on the floor, yeah. when you kick to the floor. Yeah. Trying to do a van up when you're living rough. Yeah. It's not easy. You're trying to cut wood up at the side of the road. I can, yeah. yeah, I was going to say, pra practically, but what an amazing job you've done. So that's why I've got yeah. the wardrobe there, because it yeah. was just, it got to the stage where I just needed to, for my own sanity, I needed to be on the road. Do you find you meet lots of people around on, on the road? You collect numbers, you've got loads of mates you met from this. Do you meet up regularly? What, what has it work? Yeah, it's... The, the official way we're supposed to live van life full time is you pull up, where well, you're gonna park overnight, you pull up late at night, sleep over, then first thing in the morning, you move off. Yeah. So you, you're not a nuisance, you don't. So, but the trouble with that is, because everyone does that, you don't really get to meet people. No. Does it get yeah. lonely? Yeah. Very lonely. That's why we come to events like this. I see. You know, the community I've got here, there's about six of us. Yeah. And we all meet up and we have a crack and we have it nice. together. When you live in a, in a house, you've got that Stability. base. You know where your next door neighbours are, you know where your mate lives two streets down the road. Do you, you miss that, that then? Community. Do you miss that that base, that solid base of structure of community that's continuously there then? Yeah. You do? You do miss that. You do miss that. What does that give you that you don't get from van life then? If you're in trouble, you need help, you've yeah. always got that support network. Is it something you feel you want to continue with? Or has it got a shelf life and you're thinking, you know what, actually now I'd like a flat or something like that? The freedom you get, you, get, you can't beat it. Yeah. You know, all my mates, they're all at work. And they've all got to leave early Monday morning because they've got to be back at work. And How do you work? And uh, i just got some savings. Got it. Okay. At the moment. Yeah. And I'm just living off those at the moment. Just getting myself well again. So you love the freedom, you get yourself well again, you mean mentally well? Yeah. Yeah, of course. The worst it gets, you're sitting there and you think, oh, do you know what, let's just go back and get a house or something like that. Yeah, 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 that. yeah. Then you think, I ain't got a minute, I'm going to have to go back to work. Mm. And that, when you haven't got to go to work, 
because it's a, a cheap way of living. Yeah, it makes is, sense. You're like, no, nah, van life's not that bad. <laughs> you know what I mean? People say, where are you going to go? But I'm like, I don't know. I just drive. If I find a nice place, I'll stop. Thank you very much, mate. It's so fascinating. Really interesting. I'm going to sort of jog around and see where else I can find to have a chat. But really interesting talking to you. Yeah, brilliant. Nice to meet you, my friend. Yeah. Cheers. I'll say, yeah, as it is. That's yeah. It. That's Raw, me. that's what I want. Raw and real. Nice one. <laughs> Cheers, bud. <laughs> Right everyone, I'm going to pause the video for a moment for a really important topic, that's men's prostate health. Guys, a couple of questions for you. Are you finding it a struggle to pee at the moment, or are you finding that you're going more frequently? Because as guys, we're a nightmare. We wait to the last moment when things are really bad before we go to the doctors. Don't be that guy you'll get an mot on your car on your van but you won't get a health check for yourself so you need an easy convenient man friendly way to do that here is the full prostate health test kit by bioshore all you need to do is when you go online to receive the kit we'll go into that in a minute click on registering the kit here by clicking scanning that qr code with your phone inside there will be a little vial and a little needle that you can prick your finger get the blood in there, put it in the vial, send it across to the lab with a prepaid box inside, and in 48 hours, you will get the results back. It's accredited, you can talk to your doctor about that. The key thing with this is, it will give you peace of mind, it will give your family peace of mind, and stop everyone from worrying, you'll get the answer that you need. Okay, all you need to do to receive this is, click in the top right hand corner, you'll get onto the Bioshore website, click on the PSA test, Get it, get into checkout, and then if you type in Adam Day 10, that'll give you a 10% discount. Easy peasy, all right? You know it makes sense. Do it now. Let's get on the rest of the video. Right, I found some fellow YouTubers here. YouTube Bertie Bus. Let's have a little look here. Decent size uh, bus. Hey, hey. Hello. Yeah. So you're full-time van lifers, are you? We are, yes. Yeah. Yeah. How long have you been um, van lifing for? Uh, over a year. Are we talking about full-time on the road, are we? Yeah, we are full-time. Really, yeah? Yeah, we're living it, aren't we? Yeah, we do. Yeah, just what, did you, what did you sacrifice to live in your van? What did you... My house. <laughs> did you sell your places then? I sold my house. I've still got my house. I haven't really sacrificed anything. you still got your gaff, yeah? Uh, you rent that out then, do you? Yeah, yeah I rent it out. You rent that out? Yeah, you rent it out. It gives us all my little motor and a bit of money in the bank. And I'd only known you four weeks, hunter. Yeah. There's only just better online. Uh, met you on Facebook yeah. dating site. You met on a Facebook dating site? Yeah, and then we did this, sold my house, and we did this. Wow. So that's why you've got your house, isn't it? So. Yeah. See, that's that a lot of people would say that's quite a risk. You don't know each other, and now yeah. you're going to live Together in a confined well. space. Yeah. What? How did you establish that this was in any way going to work, but that yet a year later here you are? We didn't. <laughs> we didn't. Never even slept in a motor room before, have we? No, we didn't even. No, you just threw yourself into it? Yeah, yeah. yeah. threw yourself into it. into it. Yeah. Yeah, and we absolutely love it. We don't. Well, I was a bit stressed out with work because I was self employed. Yeah. All my money were in my house. Yeah. And I was just working to pay bills. And I just thought, I had enough of this when, after COVID and everything. And, I said, all my money's in my house. I'll sell my house, release my money, and this is what I'm going to do. I'd known you for a week, and you said, can mm. I come with you? <laughs> <laughs> and that were it. And a couple of months later, we put a deposit down uh, for a motorhome, didn't yeah, we? Yeah. That's mm. crazy. Yeah. Well, that's for living, Beautiful. isn't it? You know, you can't hold back. You guys love it. Oh, God, yeah. What do you love about van life most about you know about living full time in a van if i could step You've up got, here yeah, is yeah. that all right yeah. um the freedom of it i guess i'll tell you something when you've had an house and you condense everything down to a van it makes you realize what you don't need right yeah. really everything we've got is on this you, van you don't need that, that right. much stuff at all you don't do need you? stuff and it's so liberating that we've got no debt nothing yeah. Where do you stay though? Because this is quite a sizable bus. Like yeah. it, for me, I'm thinking like if I was to do this, I'd just want 
a normal sort of VW Transit because it'd just be easy to Smart, park. Yeah. This, this for me, I look at this and think this would be it's a bit. pain in the ass. Like, well, how do you... it's, it's a compromise, isn't it? If we went for something smaller, we wouldn't be able to cope because yeah. we're living we it. And we've got two dogs as well. To, you, know, oh, you have two dogs with you as well? Yeah, yeah, two. yeah. So we needed something this size, so it's a compromise, really, isn't it? It is big, but yeah. not as big as some of them. Not as no, big as some of these other landers. We've been doing it um, over a year now, and we spent most of his time off grid. We don't go on campsites. No. Where do you park then? Uh, park for night, our wheels are. <laughs> Some absolutely yeah. brilliant places. We've seen some amazing places. Yeah. Is there any jip with parking though? Because some of the people I speak to, they find it, they they don't want to tell people about where they're parked, and there's a lot more van lifers now around. So some yeah. of them get moved on and stuff like that. Do you get any of that we've stuff? Never that? Had we've had never any been trouble like never that. Been never moved been moved on. on. Yeah. What are the downsides you feel? to this lifestyle? You know, having obviously um, lived statically in a community. And then just doing this on the road. What are the downsides? Well, I thought we'd be lonely, but we've got more friends now than we've ever had. Mm, yeah. Really? God, yeah. yeah. Social side of it. Of Through YouTube as well. You know, yeah. we have loads and loads of friends. There you go. New one there. Of friends, People come and stop and chat yeah. to us like you are. But, yeah. You know. We've got friends here. We've but are they online friends? You know what I mean? Because you're always on the road. Are these people yeah. that you, you really talk to mainly online? We'll meet or up with them. So, do you? So, so we chat all the time, so yeah. we meet up in different areas. Do you Not know what so oh, I see, nice. Uh, it's mainly summer Mainly-so. when all festivals are on. So we'll meet up with people at different places. Beautiful. You know what I mean, wherever we are. Well, Oh, really nice, yeah. Yeah, and we've even stayed on people's driveways. Yeah, we've got friends yeah. up really? the country. People have got more <laughs> trolls, all invited yeah. to come and stay on our drive, and we go and visit them. We've yeah. got them in Scotland, Northumberland, Yeah, they'll invite Whitbear. us for, for breakfast the next day. Yeah, we've got some it's really brilliant. good friends. Parked up on the drive. Uh, it's brilliant, isn't it? We do that as well. Do you feel, uh, see, something I'm really interested in is, is community, like, when, when you stay in a, you know, stackly in a place, in a community, You've obviously got people around that area. You go yeah. to clubs and stuff that you've got your old friends and yeah, stuff like that. Yeah, yeah. Is it, do you miss that or do you find it's more sociable doing this? More sociable doing this. Really? Like, well, we went back home yeah. recently where I used to live because I've still got a family there and we do go back every so often, don't we? Hmm. We went back to where I used to live and no, not anymore. Really? Yeah. Nothing changes, does it? Do you think it's a different mindset yeah. then? You meet people with a similar mindset to, to we, you guys? Because we do what we do now. We know yeah. it's a big world out there. We've met so many new friends when we've gone back. Okay. Because we've changed, uh, you've got Mickey taken out of you because you've changed your oh, hair. I've changed my hair and we're like gypsies and all that. Oh, you're yeah. not you're you not the person I knew anymore. You don't anymore. fit in anymore into a Oh, place, interesting, they, into they their still, box. They still go to it, they still do the same yeah. things. Yeah. So really, they're quite jealous, really, because we've got this lifestyle. So when we come back, we just have make it, make it, we don't mind, do we? Because yeah. some people kind of live in that cycle, don't they? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Whereas we you've changed so much well, and we, come back. We feel like, like oh. we ain't got things in common with them anymore. Really? But then it it's makes you realise yeah. we've done that thing. Yeah. So just looking around here, so you've got, oh Christ, yeah, it does. Yeah, sure, I'm sure. Yeah, you got a yeah, look ahead. at bathroom. I don't want to get any mud on your. Uh, oh, you're all right, okay, right, all the time, time. Is that right? Okay, yeah. so you've got you've got all the cooking bits here, you've got the full sink, oh, yeah. you've got all the drawers here. Oh, this is nice, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> this is really nice. Yeah. Look at this little boudoir at the back. Yeah. And you've got the bathroom here. Yeah. We've got, uh, we've got a proper toilet. Hello. Oh, you got a proper toilet? Because look at this as well, you've got, there's another shower, you've got a shower in here as well. Yeah. I mean, you've got, you've got everything you need, haven't you? Yeah. It's got a big water tank on it, it's got a big gas tank on it. Yeah. Off, fridge freezer? Is that a fridge freezer here? Yeah. yeah. It is. And an oven, oven as well. Yeah. And an oven? Yeah. Yeah. yeah it's got a oh, you got the microwave up there yeah. as well? It's got a built in inverter, so oh, everything's three pin. Oh, did you come in? I'll show you. What thing. about, do you guys ever argue? Do you ever no. bicker? Really. Do you ever say, I need space? I'm pretty laid back and chill. You can be a bit argumentative. Be I'm more stressed than you. Yeah. But you don't argue. I do don't you? argue back. I'm just the more chilled and laid back one. And it works, doesn't it? So there's no I reaction there from you. Look, if you're in, wanting an argument, I back off. Yeah. You can't cope with arguing. You can't be doing weak. If you I, calm me down and that's it. Yeah. 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 Hmm. That's it, yeah. Oh, I love it. Well, it's been awesome chatting to you guys. <laughs> What about that? They met online and then straight away they're jumping into full-time van life. 
Do you know what's what I love about it sometimes? You, you just, instead of just making sure everything is absolutely perfect, what they did there, I think that's life, isn't it? You just see how things go, make it work. If it doesn't work, they could just sell that van and go back to their, you know, he could, he could buy a new place or buy a new van and go off on his own and she could do the same. But the fact they've just jumped into it like that and made it work, I've got nothing but respect for that because, yeah, it, it might fall flat on its face, but that's life. you just got to jump in with two feet and see how things go. Really interesting. Loved it. Look at this beast there. Hi guys, how you doing? Are you uh, are you van lifers? Are you it, what? Um, what? You're full time. What's it like as a full time van lifer? Absolutely love it. Never going back to bricks and mortar. Really? Yeah, never. What is it you love about it? Um, the freedom. You know, sort of. You're not constrained by a mortgage. If you don't like your neighbours, you drive off. Um, <laughs> that is that is a that is definitely a winner, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. It's just, uh, yeah there's there's no downside as far as we can see. What prompted you to do this? Um, which I got a cancer diagnosis. Oh. So, um, so yeah, so that's why we started a builder in the first place, and then just sort of thought, one life, just do it, JFDI. Let's definitely do it. One life seems to be the slogan that people use. Before I picked the camera up even, I chat to a few people and that's what they were saying. One life, just get out and do it. Yeah, yeah. You know, right. It's not, not a rehearsal, so no. get on, do it. And there's, there's lots and lots of people who will go, oh, what about that, what about that, what about that? And well, if you don't try it, you'll never know. Because what's the worst that could have happened? All right, let me be that guy. What about going to the toilet? What about parking? What about loneliness? Uh, what about water? What about problems with a van? What about people telling you to F off? Well, it's, probably, it's probably more like that, but... Yeah. Well, we haven't had anybody tell us off, you know, no. tell us to F off. Yeah. How long have you been doing it for? Uh, just coming like up two years. Years. Two, years. Yeah. two years. We opted to take our social media on the side, so if anybody wants to know who we are, um, we're not the most active, we're Booby terrible. Booby-doo. Yeah. Horseboxcamper.com. This yeah. is an old horse box? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Oh, wicked. So, so we, we go on Instagram it. and Facebook yeah. as well, guys. Yeah. So when we bought it, it was actually stalled out for three horses. And, um, you know, we'd been looking at prison vans, army trucks and stuff like oh, that. Oh, really? All sorts. But and we just sort of happened to come because we thought horsey people love their horses. So they're probably going to have looked after it. Yeah. It's a big old vehicle. Uh, what's your background? Are you a practical guy? Or? Um, well, I was a farmer for 10 years, but right. now I work in IT and stuff like that. So, um, Hang on a minute. Yeah, I haven't yeah. had any sort of particular career path. I just sort of kept falling <laughs> into jobs, really. So right, like, right, right. You know, I'd, I'd get bored easily and just move on to do something different. Yeah. Okay, so that's really the mindset, isn't it? Like, if someone's got itchy feet, this is the life for them, yeah, right? Yeah. But you said something interesting as well, and it's how, what prompted you to do this, which was a cancer diagnosis. So was that a reality check in terms of I am going to die at some stage? Was that I like a kick so. up the arse? Yeah. yeah, I think so. And, and also, sort of when you're encumbered with debt and, you know, sort of sitting at home, yeah. working for 20 days holiday a year or 24 days holiday a year, you just sort of think this is ridiculous. Stop that. You know, yeah. we had and a beautiful house, but then just sort of thought, yeah, that was, need it. That was a period in our life and uh, we just got, we got too many adventures to do on 24 mm. days holiday a year or something. Yeah. So I work full time for the lorry and stuff like that. So right. I can work anywhere. I've got an internet connection. So of course you can. I mean, that's the benefit. Yeah. You know, unfortunately, it probably took Rachel's diagnosis to give us the kick up the backside to go. It often does, shame. though, doesn't it? Yeah. And it yeah. and it's a shame yeah. that you have to have something like that. To it is a shame. To get you to yeah. go. You know, there's more to life than just going to the office every day and you know, sort of working, paying bills, and then dying. So in a way, that cancer diagnosis was a blessing. I think it could have stopped at stage three. No, as in, <laughs> it, as in, you know, yeah. it, uh, you, yeah. no one would bloody wish for that. But at yeah. the end of the day, it, it led you to this. And yeah, it's funny, you have to I look can, at things in a positive way, don't you? Yeah, if I can inspire anybody not to wait for a catastrophic diagnosis, yeah. then, you know... What would you say to people then? What would your... To people who have been thinking about this, they're coming up with all different excuses. Oh, I've got a full-time job, and I don't know the people around my area, and yeah. uh, and I don't know if I can make it work, and how am I going to do this? If it's important to yeah. them, they'll make it to happen. Yeah. Okay. Um, and you know, sort of 
life is very short. Yeah. Do you need to have everything together before you do this, or can no, you just God, no? No. No. no? No, we've still got a storage unit of stuff we need to sort. Yeah, you know, sort of. Um, you know, as yeah. I say, we've still got that to sort out. Yeah. We've got. You know, so I mean, certainly the downsizing part was difficult. It, so it took us a long time, didn't it? Because mm. we were very, very precious of all our things. I mean, we lived in a lovely Georgian cottage. There was oh. antiques and stuff like that. And the dream, isn't it? Owning a beautiful home and stuff exactly. like that, decking yeah. it out yourself, making yeah. it yours you know. and homely. Do you think the van life and mindset then is more... Um, it, yeah, it's, it's more a mindset that's away from the material side of life oh, so ra rather than owning that stuff as you say you have experiences and memories you think it's top he heavy on that rather than things oh definitely, definitely. Without doubt. So can I have a little look yeah, around is that all right mm. let's have a little uh a little squidge up here ah do you know what? it's really homely isn't it it's really yeah. homely and really lived in it feels like it, it. I can understand you guys owning the cottage. Actually, yeah. look, you got a little bookshelf here, little bits and pieces that you collected along the way. Yeah, it's it is like walking into an old cottage, isn't it? Yeah, I love it. However, what's what's yeah, back so here? Look, Go on. I've still got sort of a twelve volt projector, one hundred and twenty inch screen, and stuff like that. You got the pot belly. You got a, a projector as well, which is up here. Yeah. Yeah. So, you know, so, so we've got all the mod comms that we need as well as it being sort of nice and homely and stuff like that, you know, so just because you live in a lorry doesn't mean you have to live like a hermit. Yeah, that's yeah. very true, very true. And if we come across here, oh God, you got the, is that the main bed up there? Yep, so we've got king size bed up there, so we sleep above the cab. Yeah. So, um, and obviously kitchen area, we've got a full 240 volt domestic fridge. Yep. Um, you know, sort of, we've got gas cooker, we've got. Um, I love the suitcase up here as well. Yeah, What's that used for? That's yeah. a really good idea. That's our glass and. Uh, oh, mate, that's. Cup storage. What a stuff. great idea. Yeah. Beautiful. And. and selling earrings, so she sells earrings as yeah, well. So, uh, Rachel makes jewellery out of uh, recycled copper. Oh, uh, right. Beautiful. I'm going to let you get on, but yeah. thanks so much for showing me around in the yeah, chat. No it's so, so interesting. No worries at all. <laughs> all the Enjoy best. The Adam. The Mark. Nice to meet you, Mark. Yep. Cheers, then. Cheers. Right, I'm back, at, I'm back at the camp at the Wandering Days, which is uh, the Where brothers, but it was a bus. Wasn't it, brother? It was, a, it was a bus that you were. Uh, yeah. It was a school bus. Right, so this is Jamie. Hey, guys. <laughs> Jamie, you're a full-time van life, aren't you, mate? No, for the last two years. And he's got a Scottish accent. Where, where are you from again, mate, in Scotland? It was... right. We're living in Edinburgh now, really, but I'm from the borders. I'm out of a little fishing village. So you own both of these? Yeah. That's our new van and our old van. Well, this is the way. This is the Sands. All right. Yeah. Why do you own two vans? Why do you come here separately? Well, we do. We came here together. No, but you know what I mean. You know what I mean. Why didn't you come in that ginormous van over here? Space, we're looking for living together for a long time on the road to you. <laughs> oh, really? Let's, let's have a little look here. All right. So you've got the two chairs there. Most vans are quite cramped because they haven't got the width. Little sofa. Yeah. Oh, you've got the potbelly stove. Yeah. And full, a proper... Full kitchen. You got a full kitchen, yeah. yeah so. And there's another double bed up there, right? Did there's see. a fridge. She's drank all the beer. She's drank all the beer. They're in her van. <laughs> She's got a fridge in hers as well. All the beers are in hers. Oh really? Yeah. Convection oven at the house. That's microwave, grill, oven, 60-inch TV. Right. Oh, you got a projector. Projector. Um, the screen that comes down there. Oh, amazing. And another bedroom up there. So what what brought you to what brought you to van life? What were you doing previously? Did you did you guys have a house like a flat? We, we did, but we were both lorry driving full time, tramping. So we left the house on Monday morning, didn't come back till Friday evening or Saturday. Saturday. So you're basically living this life anyway. Yeah. So we were in the house two days a week. Didn't make sense to run a house, did it? Oh, I see. I've always had it in me that you know I was gonna you know sell the house and right go on the road again. It was always we, were, an idea. we were always on the road. We were lorry drivers anyway, so we've travelled. 
How long were you doing the lorry driving for? Sam, the, the missus, she's yeah. done doing since she was 21 and she's... 21? Yeah, I shouldn't, have, she's said, I shouldn't have said that now. Yeah, <laughs> I don't even don't tell how long she's been lorry driving, but over, <laughs> over 30 years she's been driving the lorries. Oh, right, right. Well, I've had mine nearly as long as hers, but I was a bricklayer, you know. So, but right. I just did it in the last 10 years. So that was a natural transition for you to go from... Once the sun yeah. had grown up. Oh, you got a son as well? Yeah. Ah, so right. I, br I brought him up while Sam was still lorry driving. I see. And I was a builder, so I could work during the week and right. take through school hours, look right. after Ben. Right. And Sam was away. As soon as he got to the age where he was away at university, yeah. it freed up things. That's perfect. And then you're off. Yeah. Sold the house. And after two years of living in the van together, it's not like a house where you've both got a car parked outside that if one wants to go shopping one way and the other one wants to go shopping the other way, yeah. you can't do that. Right. And we've come to the conclusion that two vans is better. Yeah, but as you get older and our ages as well, you know, that it's just the option, I think, that, it, and it's, it's both completely mutual, I think, that... Yeah. It'll be a better lifestyle in two vans. We've met a couple of couples that are already doing it, and they love it. You know, it just gives them freedom. Outside that, you 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 sound like it's a pretty easy job for you being out on the road and going from place to place. What are the pains in the arse about doing it? Reality, there isn't any really. Really, is it all? It's all good then. It's all positive. It is really the only, but a lot of people will make it, and even I do. They make it negative, right? You know, you think it's a mindset then? I think definitely. Yeah. That I mean, it, it, in reality, this is most people's dream. Does it get boring? Uh, the only person that ever makes it boring is me in my head. It's mindset again, isn't it? Yeah, that's so interesting, isn't it? Yeah, because uh, you you. You don't think, I know it sounds ridiculous and a bit naive, but, but when you think about van life, you don't think about people's, how people's individual mindsets make it or break it. And your mindset, I think, is, I think you're the sort of bloke that likes to do, continue, make yourself busy and well, do things all the yeah, time. Is that is that right? Only to a degree, though. I, I could, <laughs> okay. I, I could still chill back and... <laughs> you like to chill, yeah, yeah, yeah. And lose time and just... Like you quite content enjoy the little things yeah i am quite a bit yeah oh, yeah 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 and i'm, I'm just thinking about this because if you're a lorry driver you're used to your own company as well yeah so I you've think, got to be a certain type I've of person i've been a lorry driver all my life i think that come from sam's side i think sam that's the bit that sam's struggling with in van life is right that she hasn't got her own life that she can't make her own decisions and make her own mistakes oh and she's struggling with that a little bit okay yeah she Which is another reason for the two vans you know she'll be at a, and i quite agree with her right yeah <laughs> yeah Do you want to block that out <laughs> no, no, no. pause 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 yeah. let me know what bits you want me to chop out as well yeah <laughs> <laughs> I can't say what I was going to say. I'd be, I'd be shot. <laughs> oh, we could leave the hand thing in there. It'd be quite funny, wouldn't it? Yeah. What What do you mean by that then? What, is, what does she struggle with in particular? Sam struggles with giving up work. She's worked all her life and is one of these people that she actually enjoys work. So oh. she, struggled, she struggled with retirement. If you were going to sell van life to people... It's not the gloss that you see on Instagram and all that kind of stuff, is it? Open doors to a bloody beach and... Can Mind, be. mind Can you, be. get some of that in Highlands and stuff. Oh, You're up in oh, Scotland, aren't you? Oh, so, yeah, it's stunning. Don't, don't get me wrong, yeah. I mean, we parked up in some beautiful I bet you spots. Have. Beautiful spots. So a part of it is that. Part, part of it is that, for, yeah. For me, travelling is not knowing what's, where you're going next. That's, that's the whole bit of... Or, even when I've travelled the world and everything, that's the mm. bit. It's you get up in the morning and you think, where am I going next? Right, yeah. so it's the variety of adventure yeah, of yeah, going to a new place and having a, having your home on wheels. You can park it wherever you want, of course, and stay however long you want or however long you can. Although we've never been moved on, and you meet some characters out on the road. I was going to say you're more extroverted in that way, so it's easy, easy for you to meet people, and that's yeah, that's a mindset that's important when you're out and about. 
but what what about uh, what about the difference between living in a community there's no community there's no community no no no, no. no but i've traveled most of my life so i'm quite used to that but where i grew up as a young kid yeah see, there is community up there do you miss that though versus what you have here no 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 I, <laughs> You really are content, aren't you? Yeah, I mean, especially community, because I, I, I join other people's communities when I'm travelling, in a way. Right. Uh, you Are you sort of person that likes to hop into I, different communities then? I, sort I, of go in and out, I'll dip look, in and out? I quite look more than I speak. <laughs> so, what does that mean? Well, it, it makes it easy, even when I go into somebody's community, I don't put myself in it, but I, I like to watch and see how people interact, and quite a people watcher, but don't... Yeah. But like to live on my own. <laughs> oh, that's interesting, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. See, this ain't me. You know, to be Yeah, but you chat really well. To be honest, it ain't me, though. But you talk really <laughs> well, and it's, it it's really authentic. <laughs> how have you found it the last, uh, last couple of years? I love it. Yeah. I love the freedom of it. Yeah. Um, but Joe is saying you're, you're desperate to work. You you miss the I, work. I, I miss the contact of work. Really? That's just me. <laughs> you're more of an extrovert. You you need that social. Yeah, I like. The aspect. I look at it as a pub, front of house, back of house. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but we've been together thirty three years now. Get used to each other a lot after yes. that. Every single idiosyncrasy, every yeah. pattern, every behaviour. Yeah, we do. We, do. Like, we, we read each other really well, don't we? Yeah, we do. We know each other incredibly well. We've worked together, we've double manned together with the trucks. Built houses together. Built houses together. Really? Yeah. What is the secret then to, um, you know, a relationship lasting that long, especially in an environment like this? Space, Sam, I think. Yeah, maybe. Big chunks of it, you know, I That's worked in an, Germany. Um, yeah, he was out in Germany and I was lorry driving, driving with all these men around. Um, but, <laughs> but there's, there's trust issues, isn't trust. it, you know? It's uh, trust. We trust each other implicitly, yeah. you know? Yeah, so, right. That's, that yeah. is your thing, it's trust. Yeah. So faith, trust. He's my best friend. Mm. Oh, beautiful. So. That's so cool. Yeah. So we're getting two bands. <laughs> 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 Before she, before she, did you catch that? Before she kills me, <laughs> just in case she she's still got the life insurance. <laughs> mates, mate, well, I'll jump out and find some other people to harass. But thank you so much. Well, that's no problem. Absolute pleasure. Thanks. <laughs> Cheers. Yeah, All the best, Sam. Thanks very much. Welcome. Cheers. Uh, you got the Trotters Independent Trade, is it? Yeah, this one we've actually we've actually set up so that. Big, no, people can actually see that we're not lying, and it is made of wood. Oh, that's amazing. Well, it's yeah. definitely rustic. So you, all the you remind me a bit of a Mar Larkin, but a younger version. Oh, thanks. You got one life, live it. Yeah. Why? Why wait till tomorrow? Oh, I like that.